Hey, <coughs> oh, excuse me. Sorry, guys, I've got a bit of a cold, uh, but anyway, how are you guys doing? This is Gar OTD23, just bringing you another battle. Um, this one was actually really close, I almost lost it, so uh, I think he did a few misplays, and that's kind of what basically let me win, so I'm not even going to gloat about this one. But uh, yeah, as you can see, it's with my regular OU team. You know, my Iron Bar, freaking Rocky Helmet. Spikes, Stealth Rocks, no, Spikes, Thunder Wave, Leech Seed, and Gyro Ball, Feral Troll, and, uh, yeah, he's he's pretty awesome. Anyway, I just like talking about my Feral Troll. I figured, uh, Tony would be a good lead because he can U-turn, he can set up rocks, and uh, scout pretty much. The only thing I'm really afraid of is his is his uh, Dragonite being able to set up for me, but I go for, we both go for Stone Edges, but since I have Intimidate, his doesn't do very much, uh, I can then go for just a U-turn to get rid of him, so, you know, that's how that one goes, so that's one down. Then, uh, I switch into my Karama, and he switches into Espeon, so, <clears throat> since I know he's got Magic Bounce, <clears throat> all I do is just go for the, uh, freaking gyro balls and see what he, he he just sets up his screens and then, you know that's fine because I can KO him now he goes for a substitute even though he doesn't have enough percent left so yeah that pretty much takes him out so that's two down brings in the smurgle and I'm like well I want to paralyze him but he goes for the spore here's where I make like the biggest misplay ever I should have switched into balloon <coughs> and Matt mock punched him because it would have been able to kill even through the screens, I believe, because it's technician, you know, stab, super effective, and all that. So I, I, that's what I should have done. But I tried to, you know, put it, uh, put parallel, perilous on him, and it just didn't work. So he brings in the Mew. Mew uses the white herb. I wake up and I get some seeds on him. <coughs> Excuse me. I uh, then proceed. He goes for Iron Defense, you know, just basically setting up in my face. I go for Thunder Wave trying to get Pair Hacks on him. Synchronize, of course, kicks in. And then, um, I just switch out at this point, thinking it's pointless. Go, <clears throat> go into Raloon because whatever he wants to go into, I just want to freaking uh, score. He goes for the Amnesia, so he's basically plus two everything with healing, but he also has my other seat. So I just go for Swords Dance. As he goes for Substitute, he's trying to set up a Substitute. So I just go for the uh, Bullet Seed, because I know I'm Master. Uh, you know, the Bullet Seed breaks the sub and does a little bit. Of, if, if I would have gotten, it would have been perfect if I would have gotten, you know, been able to kill him right there. But unfortunately, I wasn't. So, you know, in comes the Dragonite, plus two everything, and the end green. So it's not looking too good for me as he goes for the extreme speed and got the crit, which of course doesn't matter at all. But, uh, you know, what, what are you going to do? So I bring in my Karama. I didn't expect him to have Fire Punch, but uh, he does. So. But he takes damage from that, which is kind of what I was hoping. I was hoping I could live at least one to get some damage off on him. But, you know, that's not the case. Here I switch into Tony to, to uh, at this point I know he's basically got all the punches and stuff. So I just switch into Tony to decrease his attack just a little bit. Then I switch to Jafar, and I'm like, please, live, and uh, I do, and if it weren't for that, he would have won the whole game, so, yeah, I uh, escaped with my teeth, and at this point, I'm just like, Thunderbolt all the things, Thunderbolt all the things, <laughs> so yeah, he brings in Nido King, and I go for Grass Mount, because I figure he's ground, he shouldn't be weak against him, but I forget he's poison type first. So, of course, if I would have went for the Hidden Power Ice, I probably would have killed him. But uh, it didn't, because I wear the Expert Belt, but it didn't. So, bring in my Tinker Bell. Go for Calm Mind, because he's a special Nido King. Uh, he goes for Flamethrower, it does about 61. So, I'm like, well, if you're a ground type, I can use this Cricket Drain on you. But then I was like, wait, he just tried this, and it didn't work, because he's Poison type first. So, I almost die again. <laughs> Misplayed, like everywhere today on both sides uh, and I just go for Psychic. I should have just went for Psychic first because Psychic Unboosted probably still wouldn't kill him anyway so whatever, whatever. Then he brings in the Mew and I'm just like GG. Thank you guys for not waking up Hydreigon because uh, 
he would have beasted all over your face, even though, you know, he's not, you know. In fact, I'm going to look up a choice Scarfer, because I realize I don't have any Scarfers, and Scarfers have been coming in handy a lot lately, so I'm going to look up a Scarf thing for my Hydreigon. And, uh, yeah, sorry that that one was kind of quick, but, you know, that's, that's, that's just how that one went, so. You guys uh, rate, comment, subscribe, leave a like if you enjoyed it. That would really, I'd really appreciate that. I need the likes, and uh, tell your friends because I have cookies.